folks, this is John Eberhardt, and with me is Brian Molnar, organizer of uh, the 12th Annual uh, Veterans Day Parade. Uh, we have a beautiful sunny day along the cool side, but a perfect day for a Veterans Day Parade. Great fall day on Veterans Day, which is, uh, you know, more symbolic uh, of it, and um, just great to be here. And I, Brian, as I was walking down Main Street, I noticed the crowd, and it is a large crowd we have this year. Yeah, it, you know what? It, it, this is the parade that, to me, is the best of all, when you can honor the veterans. Listen, the only reason why we're here is because of the these men and women who sacrificed everything for us to be here. And it's such an honor. It makes me really, really feel good when you see the street packed. And we'll see all our veterans in just a, a few moments. Yep. Uh, we have our all our in-town American Legions, VFWs, scout groups. Um, it's going to be a really good turnout. About 31 marching groups today. And that's got to be the all-time largest. Yeah, it is. We're, we're making it a little bit bigger each year. A lot of more groups want to participate. So it's uh, really starting to build up in the 12 years to be a major parade. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it looks like with the police cars coming down, it looks like the start of our 12th annual Veterans Day Parade. I'll tell you, Main Street's uh, a lot of people, which is uh, like we talked about earlier. It's, it's, it's a good site, and I want to thank the Woodbridge Fire Department, you know, before we get into this for, you know, providing the American flag here, the backdrop. It's uh, what a view, looking up Main Street with the, with the stars and stripes, and it's going to be a great day. Oh, as I came down Main Street and I saw that, what a sight to see. It was just it was overwhelming to just see that flag there. And you can't say enough about the fire department. They, uh, they had signs, lawn signs made up, advertising the parade. Uh, so they really helped get the word out, and that's why the streets look like they're, they're really filled. Yeah, my wife came home one day, and she was like, I saw lawn signs. And usually, you know, during campaign season, it's vote for this one, <laughs> right, vote for right, that exactly, one. Exactly. Right. She goes, but how refreshing to see the Veterans Parade. Yeah. Nothing about voting. Just come on down and say hi to the, the folks who signed that blank check. Mr. All right, so we see the Woodbridge's finest coming through, ushering our parade in for us. And I cannot say with enough about our police department. Um, Almost the entire staff of the Young Marines is uh, Woodbridge uh, Police Department. Our drill instructor, our, uh, our paymaster, adjutant, all our uh, Woodbridge Police Department. So besides protecting and, and serving, they really underline the, uh, the serving part. Yeah, and we're going to talk about it, you know, as the parade goes on. We can't do none of this stuff, the recreation department, the township, without the help of the police, the fire, the cert team, just everything, all the volunteers. That that That's what makes this. The mayor says it's the best town around. He's this right. is why, because Absolutely. all these departments work, public works today, everything that they do. So here's our first group coming into view. John, it's the Whooper High School JROTC. Program. Oh, wow, what an organization. Founded in uh, 2014 with uh, Colonel Tom Parker. Uh, Tom's willing to uh, spoke with me. He's willing to work with us is with the uh, Young Marines and excellent group. It's amazing how far they've come in a short period of time. Now, right, they're fully funded by the by the U.S. Army, right? That's right. The Na National has decided to fully fund them, uh, and that's only after they pass rigorous tests. So they've they've come through well. And now we have American Legion Post 87. Um, Mike Jonikowski is the commander. Joe Russo is uh, the commander of the uh, the uh, Sons of the American Legion. Uh, Legion. Um, and we're going to head over there after hopefully have a, a bite to eat after the parade. Yeah, and they have a special guest, Walter Zawa, who's the state vice commander. A very, very busy American Legion. They're uh, constantly out there with the community. Oh, there's Dan Dunn. Uh, extremely busy. Yep. Dan does a great job. And like you said, they host our after party and um, do a lot of work to help us with this. And here's uh, a group of veterans with a, a card donated. Uh, smiling faces. We have uh, Mike Jodikowski in there. Uh, uh, looks like Colonel Whiteleg is in there. Here we have Stu Brandau coming by. Stu Brandau, a Battle of the Bold hero. Great stories he, he tells. And more of American more Legion. American Legion 87. 
And here comes a new group, John, to yeah, our this parade. Is new. They're they're always in our holiday parade, but today we brought in the Colonial Musketeers Fife and Drum Corps. The director is Kelly Felson, the Fife Sergeant is Jason Rossler, and the drum sergeant is Gavin Beaton. And they use those old Hessian uniforms going back to the days of the revolution. What a great addition to the parade. This is how, how symbolic is that? Yeah, they were the Continental Marines in the American Revolution. That's what the the uniforms. And here comes our dignitaries. We have our dignitaries and we're led by our Grand Marshal Senator Joe Vitale and John you could uh, oh, could probably be here for an hour uh, listening to Joe's accomplishments and everything the, he's done. The parade to be long gone. Senator Vitale, the stuff he's done. Uh, Fleet Week uh, takes our seniors to Fleet Week. Got uh, our I'm mayor. sorry. There's Assemblyman Craig Coughlin, the mayor. Our mayor, Chief of Staff people. Carolyn Ehrlich. Juan Rios, Council. Board of Ed. Board of Ed. We thank our dignitaries for coming out supporting us. And here's a post there to your heart, John. Yeah, here's my American Legion Post 471. What an organization. Uh, Commander Ray Orris, Chuck Paul, Vice Commander, myself, Frank Kemper, Joe Williams, Gene Bernhardt, our uh, historian. And r r right behind them is the John Bessalone Detachment uh, Marine Corps League. And then we have a couple essay winners. Uh, for Veterans Day, the Board of Ed, in partnership with the Alliance, we do an essay and poster contest, and there's some of our winners. And, and there looks like the... Here's our Young Marines. Uh, just found, started the Young Marines in September. This is our first graduating class, and they are looking sharp. Followed by the Cub Scouts, Pack 148. All of these are sponsored by Post 471. That's just, uh, yeah. Bethany just Broadwell is the committee chairperson. Justin Robertson is the Cub Master. And here comes the uh, Kevin Reinhardt detachment. Uh, District 1, Gary White, uh, Commander. I'm sorry, I stand corrected. In the Marines, it is not a commander, it is a commandant. Commandant. Commandant Gary, Gary White. Just went to the Marine Corps ball last night. Yes, Interesting. yes. Interesting. Yeah, and um, just want to make a note too. Kelly Terrell, the Central Jersey Leathernecks, he's marching with um, the Reinhardt Detachment. And here, I believe, is the Rahway Junior ROTC. This an air at close order drill, or just to give you an idea, if that's close order drill. They are shoulder to shoulder. You know, 471 went by, and um, we've got a little break here in the in the parade, and we didn't even go into the Blue Star family. That's right. And, and, and everything that they do. The uh, all all nine of our uh, veterans organizations are extremely uh, busy in the community. Uh, Post 87, uh, 471, 661, uh, VFW in Colonia. Let's see, 248 in Colonia. Uh, I know I'm going to miss them until they, they come along. Hope Lawn, but they're all uh, all busy. Ready, cut, left turn, march. Hello, Johnny. How are you? Good. How you doing? You got a beautiful day today. Oh my gosh! I thought it was going to be cold and windy, but it's gorgeous. Now you definitely overdressed. Now you came down the line of march. I'm, from my perspective, this has got to be the largest turnout we've ever had. I think it is. I think it is. Parade. It was packed over on Rush Street. Excellent. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And our Grand Marshal Joe Vitale. I'm trying to get him to come up here. Hey, send Vitale. Yes. Yeah, it's... Uh, Senator Vitale has done, as I mentioned earlier, so much for the veterans. As have you, Mayor. This this town is really, uh, if, matter of fact, if you drive by Town Hall, you just see the, the huge sign there dedicated to the veterans. Well, don't don't uh, give me credit. The best thing I ever did was ask you when uh, I became mayor in 2006 to be in charge of the Veterans Alliance, and you helped bring back this parade to Woodbridge. It's our 12th year in a row now. Absolutely terrific. And here's our Rowway JROTC, uh, Marine Corps JROTC, and uh, I've had a conversation with their commander and our commandant, and uh, we're going to work very closely together with our young Marines. I'll tell you, what you did with the young Marines on Woodbridge is terrific. Over in Colonial High School, we had 11 young men and women uh, graduate. It was unbelievable what you do and what everybody in Woodbridge does for veterans. Let me turn the microphone over now to our Grand Marshal, Senator Joe Vitale. Thank you, Mayor. 
Uh, Senator, good to see you here. Good to see you, John. Great to be here. I got, I got to talk about all the great things you did about the veterans before you got here so you didn't have to embarrass you. Oh, good. Thanks. Well, it's, it's certainly something that I am honored to do. You know, it's uh, just part of my job. But my dad was in the Army, served in World War II, and so I was raised to respect our military and our men and women in service. And, uh, today's is just another example of showing our appreciation. Oh, the, the, the faces of uh, the veterans when they go on Fleet Week, they board those ships, and they, they get flashbacks back of the good old days when they were young and invincible. It's, sure. such a, it's a great thing. They see themselves as these young people. You know, that's just, I was this young when I was on the yes. ship or I was in the Marines or was in the Navy or whatever. Um, they get a real kick out of it. It's great. This is the... Uh, we're, uh, I keep saying young Marines, I should, oh, and, uh, the JROTC uh, Marines, and this is one of their drills they're going to be doing, which is amazing, the precision. They're really committed to this. It's terrific. This takes hours and hours of practice. Yep. Sir! All right. Think. From Broadway High School in Broadway, New Jersey, United States Marine Corps JROTC unit, request permission to leave your parade deck, sir. Permission. Permission. Aye, 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 sir. And that's that's military protocol. As a matter of fact, you'll, uh, the, uh, for instance, the young Marines, if they want to talk to me, they actually come up and ask ask permission to speak. Oh, really? So they always ask for permission if, if they are to leave. It's good for them. But again, Senator, I, I, I can't thank you enough for, for these guys and gals out here. Uh, the, the veteran forum you helped put together with the mayor, uh, where we get the information about their benefits. Um, there's, there's so much you pass on to our veterans. We really, really appreciate well, everything you do. It's my honor to do that. So thank you very much, John. We have, I think, our speaker here. Right. Hey, Debbie. What? What? And they're on. Grand Marshal. And with me now is uh, Councilwoman, Council President, I'm sorry, Debbie Meehan. Uh, Good afternoon. I can't say enough about what you do for the veterans. If you open the uh, Woodbridge Corner newspaper, you can't help it but see the pages and pages about the veterans. And when you're overseas and mom or dad send you that little article or uh, something, with, it is such a great feeling. So, Debbie, for uh, all the veterans that are deployed now, thank you very much. Uh, you know, it's my pleasure. I had the paper for 17 years now, and I've had that in the center of my paper for 16. And it's just, it's a great way to let the community know that there are local kids overseas, men and women, that are serving our country. And sometimes we forget that in a very busy world. So I really just want to thank the veterans. Thank everybody, past, present, and ones that will be veterans, you know, that will serve our country in the future. It's an amazing task that they do and makes us all proud to be Americans. Oh, we're watching some of them right now, yeah. as a matter of fact. Request permission to leave. And again, they, they request permission, whether it's to speak, whether it's to, to, to talk to you, to come into the room, to leave the room, and they're asking permission now to leave the parade. Yeah. We actually saw one of the young Marines, and he they said he was only eight years old, so I thought that was really incredible. I'm not going to mention his name, but that's correct. We <laughs> go from eight great. to 18 with the young Marines, yeah. and uh, you just saw them march by before. They, yeah. I'm so proud of them. And on another note, uh, over the next two weeks, we'll be packing up supplies for the troops to send over for the holidays. That's, so yep. if there's anybody out there listening whose child might, or husband or wife might be serving overseas and would like a care package from home, please reach out to me. We would love to send them some cookies and decorations and all kinds of things like that. So if they do, you can reach out to me at 732-382-0273, and we would just love to send some love from home. Oh, and it does mean so much. Even just uh, just a, a crinkly old cookie is such a great thing. And with us uh, now is uh, VFW Memorial Post 7164, Jack McIntosh is Post Commander, Jerry Malone, District 8 Commander, uh, John Winter, D District 8 Vice Commander, Joe Nelson, Color Guard Captain, Rhonda Hazlitt, Auxiliary President, Margaret Russo, District 8 Auxiliary President, and Lynn Malone, District 8 Auxiliary Vice President. There they are, folks. Avenel VFW. Hello. Post 7164, very busy post. And with me now is a, 
Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin. Hi, John. It is great Hello, to everybody. see you. It's uh, great uh, to be here. You look, uh, you look downright dapper in those camouflage. Yeah. I, you're not supposed to see me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, what a beautiful day for a parade, huh? This is a perfect day, and um, the mayor had mentioned how the, the crowd is. A lot larger than it's been in the past. It I is. It really people. is. And, you know, I, look, maybe we're on to something here. I know the uh, election return. I mean, there are more people voted in this year's election in midterms than I think ever in the history of the United States. People are coming out now. Maybe it says something about our democracy. People are, are engaging, and that would be great. It does. It, I, I got to tell you, walking down Main Street and seeing the uh, Woodbridge Fire Department put up that flag was just absolutely amazing. Yep, it really is. And, you know, this is a day that we – it's really a celebration today, John. You know, it celebrates this, uh, the spirit of the of all of those who have served, who are who put something bigger and more important uh, than themselves first. And you know, that's something we really ought to celebrate every day. But uh, the truth of the matter is, it's nice to do it uh, at least once a year and to say thank you to all of the brave men and women uh, who, who who you know answered duty's call, who who were and said, just uh, passing us now is disabled American veterans chapter 56 with George Schnuff as commander, and. And you're correct. It's because I can remember putting my right hand up and swearing allegiance to the commander in chief. Right. And pretty much we were told that you were signing a blank check up to including your, your life. life. Yeah, and it's that's so true. And you know, and it is it's something that you know it, it's a it's a spirit of dedication and commitment and service that is unprecedented. So uh, thank you, John, for your service. Never it forget. was an honor. I wish they could take me now. My the body's all rickety now. They want no part. <laughs> post uh, VFW post 4410. Al Jankowski, commander there. I think he's been forever. What a great guy he is. Uh, Matt Donovan, the senior vice commander. Michael Powers, auxiliary president. Barbara Barawi, uh, vice president. Yeah. So it's uh, thank you all for who have served. God bless you all, and and bless their families too. You know, I I, I I I know some families who have people in the military, and they they go too. Uh, they you know they they hold out. I mean, you notice somebody who has a son or a daughter or a, or a loved one or a spouse in the military. They never turn their phone off. They always have it. In, they're always trying to make sure they never want to miss that one call. So, God bless them too. Uh, as you had said, uh, a lot of people will stop by now and say thanks for your service, but really it's the spouses. My wife at, ran the entire family while right. I was overseas. Sure. Deployed. Right. How many? How you had two little kids at the time? How old were they? My son. My son was was three months old when I left. Right. And so. she ran the entire show. So God bless her. And what God about Alex? Twenty one sixteen. Just. Uh, just went by, and a special thanks to them. Great community organization. Well, I'm going to say goodbye and let somebody else jump on to say hello. So, John, always good to see you. Oh, same here. You. Thank and you very thanks much. everybody. Everybody, God bless America. And we'll get you to okay. interview me one of these days. <laughs> yeah. And now the Colonia High School Marching Band. Each year we have one band come in, and uh, this year it is the Colonia Marching Band. And with me now is uh, Councilman Kyle Anderson. Hello, Mr. Eberhardt. How are you, sir? It is great to see you. I was, again, I'm going to say one more time, the turnout for this parade has been amazing. We have an excellent really? turnout. Um, people coming out and saying hi to our veterans. Um, thank cool. you for marching. We had a beautiful weather day. Wonderful day. I wouldn't miss it. Um, the weather always makes it better for the audience. Um, but um, Not bad for the marchers either. No, no not out. bad for the marchers. job by the band. And just going by before I, I failed to mention was uh, Bill Whisk from uh, VFW Post 1352. And now we have Colonial Memorial Post VFW 6061. Post Commander Bill Curia. 
another very very busy uh, post. They were uh, they used to have these steak dinners on Friday. It was absolutely the best. Is that right? For seven bucks, you got a steak, potato, all the fixings. Again, another very very busy post. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's always good. Growing up across the street from um, an American Legion in Islin, I always saw how active they were in their communities. 471. And, uh, that's 471. Right. That's right. T. Nulty. And American Legion Post 248 now coming. I was mistaken. It was 248 who has the steak dinners. There you go. 6061 has the great celebrations at their unit. Um, Juan Aaron Siaba, the uh, commander, John McCarthy, the vice, first vice commander, John Ruiz, uh, Joe Ruiz, uh, second vice commander, Tom Hyded, third vice commander. Uh, and again, a very, very busy post. Uh, yeah. When we, uh, we donated a wall to the uh, Menlo Park Veterans Home, and uh, they came across big time with donations. So anytime you go past the Menlo Park Veterans Home and in Edison, you'll see that wall there with the five branches of service on there. That's something the, Veter the Women's Veterans Alliance did in post 240. It was a big help. Awesome. And with them is Cub Scout Pack 523. Right. And we have uh, den leaders Rebecca Mazzarella, Greg Alvarez, Jessica Miller, Holly Friedman, and Dale Andrews. And with that, I'm going to turn over the headset to our freeholder director, Ronnie Rios. And with me, folks, is uh, and actually an honorary sailor. Here he is, <laughs> the older director, Ron Rios. We were on board the, uh, was it the Wasp? The USS Wasp. The USS yes. Wasp together. We took a, a trip on board her. And it's good to see you on this beautiful oh, Veterans Day. It's great to be here. Thank you for allowing me to be part of it. It's, as usual, Woodbridge does a, a, a really great job. Oh, recognizing this is our veterans great. and look at this this is cub pack 53 with all the pictures of all the veterans wow how nice that is really really nice and all the kids are so involved and it's great that we're teaching our young folks the meaning of veterans day and what our veterans do for us and what they've done for us cub scout pack 26 cup master is jesse hinkle and this is the patriot Patriots Path Council first all-girl Cub Scout pack. Wow, wow fantastic! That's impressive. And right behind them is uh, Troop 53 from Ford's Boy Scout Troop. This is a tremendously busy Boy Scout troop. Uh, I see them all over the town doing all sorts of things. Uh, Scoutmaster Brian O'Halloran and Committee Chairman John Sullivan. What a, a great, great group of young men. And it's great that they keep the kids involved and, and, and understand how important it is for scouting and being, and, and I was a Boy Scout at one time many, many moons ago, and it's, uh, it's great. It's really great. And now we have the Girl Scouts of Woodbridge and Carteret, consisting of troops 80228, 80105, 83544, 83348, 80062, and we have uh, the leader for the 8228 is Nicole Androvich and Michelle Liska. And uh, what leaders, a huge contingency. Jamie Jackson and Paula Aquiles Alves. And we have leader Kim Castor. We have uh, for, uh, Girl Scout uh, Troop uh, leader Belinda Montesinos. So we have a lot of participation here from the. Uh, oh, the Girl Scouts. Yeah, the huge. Girl Scouts. Wow, fantastic, really good. And look at that, it was even nice for New Jersey Transit to have a train come yes. back for her. I love the big flag, what you have here. Oh, that's it, Woodbridge Fire Department, they were just... Wow, that's terrific. amazing, the size of that flag is beautiful, beautiful, uh, right over, draped over, right over. Freehold the director, I'll tell you, I was walking down Main Street as they, as they, as they were uh, raising the flag, and it, I, my heart just sunk when I just saw that beautiful old glory just flapping yeah. in the wind. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, and it's so important that we teach our young kids the meaning of Veterans Day and what our veterans have done for us. And here's a reminder of veterans long, long ago, the uh, 7th Virginia Cavalry, Company A. Wow, we have uh, Captain Bill Winslow, Commanding Officer, First Lieutenant Tim Jim Donovan, Executive Officer, and Major Gary Drake, Surgeon. 
This, uh, the 7th Virginia Cavalry Company A is made up of living historians whose mission is to educate the public about the Civil War and its times. They founded the Civil War Living History Weekend at, Park, uh, at Parker Press. The event ran for 33 years. They were also voted best marching group many times in many parades. And here's another organization I can't say uh, enough about. Oh, their support for the, the community and their support for veterans is the American they, Irish Association. Yeah, they're heavily involved in community service here in Woodbridge. They really are. They have their uh, with them their their uh, president Deborah Hutchinson, Ed McSh McSherry, vice president Cindy Jacobin as treasurer, Karen Devlin, financial secretary. Dolores Boyd, Recording Secretary, Jane Bobel, Correspondent Secretary, Jack Cassidy, Sergeant at Arms. They always participate. They're all around Woodbridge doing something. How are you? Good afternoon. We're, we're well into the Veterans Day parade. We had a gorgeous day here. We did. A gorgeous crowd. American Irish Association just passed by, and <laughs> hmm. it's a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous, beautiful day. parade. Weather couldn't be any nicer. Ah, here we go. Here's our military vehicles. These are presented by the Central Jersey Military Motor Pool, founded in 2006. Um, and this will bring back memories to uh, a lot of us old timers. Uh, some of the vehicles. <laughs> These were our taxis back in the day. Okay. Uh, the Humvees are fairly oh, the Humvees. new ones. Mm -hmm. um, Look at that. Right, here comes a two and a half ton. This this wow. will bring back memories of a Amazing. lot of. Amazing. You know, my husband is a 20-year retired Marine Major. Oh, oh, he'll have yeah. to come and see our young Marines. Yes, he's right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we can get him on. He wants to. Uh, right. Woodbridge Township Ambulance and Rescue Squad coming now. Wonderful. Uh, and again, a special thanks to them. The, uh, the Rescue Squad is where we hold our... Uh, Coast Guard Auxiliary Flotilla meetings. Okay. So that's donated it's to us. So again, wonderful. thank you so much to them. And the kids, it was so adorable. The that's, children. That's say. my young Marines. Thank oh, you very much. Amazing. I'm so proud of them. The ROTC was just amazing too. But it was also group. the JROTC yes. and the Railway JROTC, yes. Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts. And this ambulance is a, probably as old as I am. Oh, good, look at that. <laughs> Oh, you're not old. <laughs> no, I'm Young. ancient. It's more like no, ancient. No. Oh, look at this. Now, where did this come from? This is part of the Woodbridge uh, Ambulance and Rescue Squad. And this is housed here. Yeah, this. Amazing. It doesn't go out on calls no, anymore. Of course not. No, of course <laughs> it, not. It's, it's a beautiful. gorgeous vehicle. It really beautiful. is. Beautiful. Wow. Again, uh, Woodbridge Township Ambulance and Rescue Squad, they're just mm -hmm. a fantastic group. <laughs> and now coming up is uh, <clears throat> Community Emergency Response Team, CERTS. Okay. Another group you can't say enough about. Coordinator right. Lowell, oh, uh, Skip Landon is the Deputy Coordinator. Sherry Land is the Captain. And Captain Joe Formola, Joe's and Lowell are busy with our young Marines. Okay. Uh, teaching them first aid, CPR. Uh, again, you, whatever you ask this group to do, do, they'll do it. You know, our response teams are so critical to our communities. They are. They are first responders. They're kind of the glue that helps hold us they, together. They do, and they are. Oh, and here, oh, here comes the taxi cab for the Army and the Marines. Oh, wow, boy. <laughs> Sit back and relax in that. Oh, my. <laughs> No ready, no ready to listen to. Just look across the way at somebody else's ugly right. face. <laughs> <laughs> and again, wow. I can't say enough about the and search where, theme. Where's this house here in Woodbridge? Uh, the vehicle, I don't know, but this, okay. the uh, search is uh, throughout Town Hall. A ton okay. And here's their ambulance. Ash and here's... Uh, Special thanks to the Woodbridge Township Recreation Department, the Woodbridge Township Parks Department, Police Department, Board of Education, Rescue Squad, 
Can't say enough about TV35. If it's happening in Woodbridge, they'll bring it to you, our search team. And again, here's our Woodbridge Police Department. Again, I can't say enough about them. Right. Three quarters, three quarters of the staff of the Young Marines are Woodbridge Police Department. It's incredible. So, uh, uh, again, folks, uh, thank you for uh, thank tuning you. in and seeing our, our Veterans Day Parade, our 12th annual, with a great turnout. And uh, we'll see you next year. Thank you. Thank you very much.